Hey everyone, welcome back. We have a lot to get into. I am Rose Shocker 22 and we have so much new content on this lovely Friday in MLB The Show 24. We're gonna go over all the cards, the programs, the conquests, the events, rank, everything. It is so much content today and it's gonna definitely keep us busy. But before we get into that, make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not. And we are dropping videos all season long. So before we get into everything, um, kind of show you where I'm at right now. I'm just going to make myself disappear for a quick second. But we are at the Season 1 XP Reward Path and double XP this weekend. That's right. Double XP this weekend. I'm at 924,000 XP right now. And hopefully by the end of this weekend, I plan on making sure that I'm over here spinning the wheel. That's right, after you get 1,180,000, you will start your wheel spins. And double XP, there's so much XP that you can gain in all the team affinities, the conquests, so on and so forth. We're gonna get into that. That there's no reason why I shouldn't be here and there's no reason why you shouldn't have a lot of XP to get yourself possibly, potentially the first boss if you've been grinding the game out. Um, there is so much to grind. We're going to go ahead and start off with Team Affinity. Now, the biggest thing, if you are new to the game, if you just got the game and you're like, yo, shocker, how do we get a good team? This is how. Team Affinity. The reason why is there are 99s for every team. There's 30 teams in the majors. That means you can get 30, 99 overall players to your roster. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go through all of it. We're going to start off in the American League East. These are the players that are in. We got Brian Roberts, second baseman for the Baltimore Orioles. Um, switch hitter, which is real cool. He has really good contact. He has pretty good speed. Um... Yeah, it's a, it's a nice, solid car, especially if you're new to the game. You can easily have this card in your lineup, and you'll get on base, and, you know, you can do some damage. Um, Boston Red Sox has Wade Boggs, 125 contact right and contact left. He's a lefty bat. Nice card right there. We got DJ uh, Lamayu. I hope I didn't say that wrong. He's also another contact hitter. Um, can play second base, first base, and third base for the Yankees. We got Brad Miller, shortstop for the Rays. Power right, 125. Really good hitting card, and he can play so many different positions. Everywhere in the infield, everywhere in the outfield. So this is a really good card as well. And then last, we got Tom Hankey, 99 mile per hour four seam fastball. K9, 125, hit 9, 116. This card is definitely going to be in my lineup. He's definitely going to be in the bullpen, um, striking out a lot of people, causing people headaches. So the American, Leagues have, American League East has really good cards um, that you can use. Now, how do you obtain these things? You have a lot of different ways. One, you can earn vouchers by um, completing conquests, showdown, extreme showdown, mini seasons, and you put those vouchers in here to get TA points that will progress you through um, the Team Affinity program. The first card that you get, the first 99 overall that you can get is at 60,000 Team Affinity points. Another thing you do, we got moments. So you complete this moment, you get 2,500 points. You also have your missions that if you uh, complete this, get PXP with American League East bosses, um, total bases with these cards, you will get 10,000 TA points uh, for the PXP ones, 5,000 and 7,500. So you complete those and you start moving on. Also, you got multiplayer missions. This is missions that you play in online modes, ranked, battle royale, and events. You can gain TA points. You got single player missions where you can do this um, in mini season. This is new. This is new. They actually got it separated for mini seasons, conquest, and play versus CPU. And you can do this repeatable to get your team affinity points. You have player exchanges, which personally I don't really touch, 
but you can do this to get team affinity points if you just have like a whole bunch of players that you don't really care to get rid of and here with the extreme you get 10,000 um ta if you can do this extreme moment this one's on hall of fame um extreme showdown what's cool about this showdown and i'm sorry let me get back into it with the showdown you get 20,000 ta points for all the team affinity divisions so that's really really cool and then you can do march to october as well and get team affinity points as you complete these so a lot of different ways to get team affinity points and it's really really easy to progress through all of this we're going to go ahead and look at some of the other divisions the american league central and um before we get into the cars as you progress as you can see look there's packs um you can choose the show classics pipeline you got ball ins you got stubs xp as you go um down the line millionaire more ball ins at 180,000, you have the season one vault pack what's good about this is now vault packs are diamonds you will get an automatic diamond and each division has one of these so that means you will get six vault packs if you complete everything up to 180 in each division six diamonds so if you're trying to get you know babe ruth or if you just want extra stubs and you want to be able to sell these this is a great way to do it and then at the end it takes 200,000 team affinity to complete a division to have every card in that division let's go ahead and look at the central cards we got lucas giolato giolito He's a starting pitcher, pretty decent. Um, K9 103, hit 9 109. His um, four seam fastballs at a 93 mile per hour. Uh, we also got Cliff Lee. Cliff Lee, 95 mile per hour, four seam. His hit nine is 96 K9 91. We got Alan Trammell, shortstop for the Tigers. Good contact, decent speed. Can play a lot of different positions. Whit Merrifield, also a good contact hitter, 92 power left, and he can play a lot of different positions as well. So it's pretty cool that a lot of these cars you can place all over your lineup. And then last, we got Harmon Kilbrew. He is a power hitter. Good contact as well. 117 power right, 125 power left. 42 um, speed, not the fastest out there, but he plays third base, first base. You could throw him out in left field if you want to. Um, good contact, again, 102 contact right and 98 contact left. Now going to the American League West, we have these five diamonds. Jeff Bagwell, who is, again, a good contact hitter. Pretty decent power hitter as well, plays first base. Um, for the Angels, we got Jim Edmonds, who has 121 contact right, 120 power right, um, 65 speed, can play center field, first base, left field, and right field. We got Blake Trinian, star, or closing pitcher, I'm sorry, for the Athletics, 97 mile per hour, um, four seam fastball, 95 mile per hour sinker, K9 107, hit 9 125. Um, this is a really good card as well, a card that I probably have in my bullpen. We got Edgar Martinez, who is also you know, known as a great hitter. Third base and plays first base, 125 contact left, 119 contact right. Power right, 100, power left, 120. And last, we got N. Kinsler, second baseman for the Texas Rangers. Um, decent card with decent speed, 87 speed. Power left, 107, contact left, 93. Going now to the National League. We have the National League East and the cars that are in there. We got Tom Glavin. Tom Glavin, starting pitcher for the Braves, K9-100, hit 9-99. Um, this card is, is for someone who likes to be precise with their pitch, like to throw pitching dots. He doesn't have the, you know, the, the, the power speed, but 94 is a mile per hour sinker, and then you just got a lot of pitches that, you know, it kind of just changes the pace. You know, so many players are used to that, you know, heat, heat, heat. This guy really has a nice change of pace um, pitches. We got Sandy Alcantara uh, for the Miami Marlins. 
he has some speed 99 mile power four seam fastball his k9 is a little low at 87 but his hit nine is 103 we got gary carter catcher for the new york mets that can play different positions as well contact left 101 contact right 93 um got a nice arm 93 arm back there so you know we did a lot of speedy guys out there that's trying to steal a base and gary carter got a nice arm to get him out we got mike smith for the phillies great power 105 power right 125 power left plays third base and first base and then last andre dawson good contact hitter 108 contact right 101 contact left 91 speed out there for your center field position or you could put them in left field or right field going to the national league central we have these five diamonds carry wood carry wood 99 mile per hour fastball he's always been known for his high strikeout rate 112 k9 108 hit nine he's you're gonna see him a lot out there if you're playing online rank eric davis this is a card that it's in my wheelhouse i really like this card 99 speed 99 still um 115 contact left 125 power left this card has really good a mixture of power and speed so i really like this eric davis card robin yount good contact hitter 125 contact left 107 contact right he can play shortstop or you can get him in center field and left field um pretty good fielding 95 field um 85 arm we got willie stargell um good hitter really good hitter 125 power right 103 power left uh, he plays left field, first base, center field, and right field. And then last, Ryan Ludrick, who is, um, you know, a good hitter in this game as well. 105 power right, 102 power left, can play all outfield positions. Last division is the National League West. And they also have some really good cards. We're going to start off with Eduardo Escobar, switch hitter. Really good hitter, 101 contact right, 117 contact left, 106 power right, 109 power left. Uh, could play third base, second base, and shortstop. And again, the switch hitter is really, uh, really, really appeasing to me. We got CJ Crone for the Rockies. Really good hitter as well, 118 contact left, 105 power right, 106 power left, plays first base. Gary Sheffield for the Dodgers. 113 contact right, 120 power right. So nice card right here. A lot of Dodger fans are happy. Hunter Renfro, this card is really nice. 125 power right, 125 power left, 61 speed in the outfield, 99 arm. This is a really solid card. I might have to add this one as well. And last, Brian Wilson, Fear the Beard. Always a nasty card to have in your pin. 125 K9, 117 hit 9, 97 mile per hour, four seam fastball. So those are all your team affinity cards. Um, again, 30, 99 overall cards. We also have our Season Award Drop 7 program. And the big card in this one is 99 Jerickson Profar. This card, 99 overall, can play every position except for catcher. Really, really good card. Good contact hitter, 120 contact right, 102 contact left. Really, really solid card and an easy card to obtain. All you got to do is complete the season award, drop seven. You know, do your moments, do the top now um, missions, and do the general missions. This one won't even take you long. Like, normally I complete this in like an hour. Super easy to do, and you will have yourself a 99 overall player that can play everywhere on the field. All right, so next up, it's like, yo, what do we do? There's so much to do. There's so many different ways. We're going to look at some things right now. One thing that you can do is Conquest, and this weekend is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. We have a Mother's Day Conquest. Now, this one, you must do. Look at what you get. You get a Mother's Day banner. 
Uh, let's see, Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, let's see, Mother's Day rewards. Mother's Day rewards is probably gonna be packs. But at the end of this, 10,000 stubs and 3,000 XP. So this is one thing you really wanna complete. Some other conquests that they've added is the City Connect Detroit Tigers. So if you complete this, you'll get show packs, you'll get the jerseys, the banners, and you get 1,904 XP. Um, also, we got the Team Affinity. Um, Team Affinity Conquest, where you can get show packs, you can get vouchers, Team Affinity vouchers. And if you complete this, you get a Vault Choice Pack. That's right, a Vault Choice Pack that is a guaranteed diamond plus 2,000 XP. So these are things that you know you really want to get done, super easy to do. You can put it on any difficulty and you can get a lot of XP and some good cards. Now for my competitive players, we have a new event. It is the Lefty Launchpad, where you will fill up a lineup of lefties and switch hitters and um, to go up against right hand pitching. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Here are the rewards that are in that. You have packs, you have stubs, you got the events rewind at eight wins. Oh, look at this though, at five wins, 10,000 XP. That's a lot of XP. At eight wins, again, we got the rewind pack, so you could choose these four cards. Um, Grayson Rodriguez, Taylor Ward, Barry Larkin, Jerry Harrison Jr. Um, at 10 wins, you get 10,000 XP and a 93 overall Tyler Rogers. Um, <laughs> you might look at this like, yo, 84 mile per hour, four seam fastball. Yeah, this is a guy that, you know, he'll come in, he will throw some really slow stuff, and it might really throw off the batters who have been seeing, you know, 100 mile per hour pitches all game. You throw him in there, this will really slow things up. Um, K9, 93, hit 9, 107. And then at 13 wins, you get 2,000 stubs. At 15 wins, you get um, two show packs and 10,000 XP. At 18 wins, you get another rewind pack that has Anthony Rendon, Brian Abreu, Andrew Painter, or Dante Bichette, 96 overall. At 20 wins, you get 10,000 XP and Matt Olson. Matt Olson, who has 120 power right, 115 power left. He is a lefty bat, can play um, first base. So really, really solid card right there. 25 wins, you get five show packs, 10,000 XP. At 30 wins, 2,500 stubs. And at 35 wins, you get three ball impacts. So a lot of XP in this um, event and a lot of cool packs and cards. For our Battle Royale program, um, at 5 BR points, you get 6,000 XP. At 10, you get an 87 overall program pack. At 15 BR points, you get 6,000 XP again. 20 BR, um, a pack, and 500 stubs. And then, yeah, you look, look at all the cards that you collect. 25, you get a 90 overall program uh, and 6,000 XP. 30 BR, you get 95 overall program cards. And um, 35, you get 6,000 XP, and you just continue to go on all the way down. The Flawless Program at 100 will include Honus Wagner, nasty, nasty, nasty car, can play every position, really good contact hitter, 99 speed, 99 steel, so uh, just a, a really solid card. And you can choose um, Johnny Cueto. Johnny Cueto, um, K9, 95, hit 9, 108, 95 mile power four seam, 95 mile power sinker. So these are two solid cards that you can get if you get to 100 BR points or if you get flawless. And then for the rank program, again, to earn rank stars, um, you know, you gotta complete your, your innings. And what's cool about it now is these will add up whether you're doing solo ranked or co-op. It's all together, it accumulates together. So that is a huge dub. And as you go along, you get a lot of packs, a lot of XP. The first card you get at 75 rank stars is Prince Fielder. Look at that power. 125 power right, 100 power left. He plays first base, 
solid, solid card. And then once you get to 100 for the World Series pack, you could choose between Jake Arrieta, starting pitcher for the Cubs, who has a 96 four, um, four seam fastball, 112 hit nine, 95 K9, or you can choose Jorge Posada, Yankees for um, catcher, 125 contact right, 125 contact left, switch hitting catcher. 80 arm, solid, solid, solid card. Now going to our collections, there has been a card added to our season one collections. We're gonna go ahead and take a look. Um, if you go ahead and look at 250, you will get CC Sabathia. Look at this Hyper Series card. He is a lefty pitcher, 97 mile per hour, four seam fastball. His K9, 105, hit 9, 101. Home run 9, 96. This is a super solid card that they just throw in here. All you got to do is collect 250 Series 1 cards, Season 1 cards. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the packs. And if you look, we got a free 90 overall Paul Skeens card. You can get this card. You can add it to your season one collections. You have seven days to do it. So all you have to do is just go here, redeem the um, the free. You can open it right here, get our Paul Skeen 90 overall card. Free card, free card, but you got less than seven days to get this card. So make sure you get that done. Also in the store, as we go back to the store, we have the home stretch pack. It's 40,000 stubs. This, um, you have a chance at Trevor Story 99 overall. Really good contact, 116 contact left, 100 contact right. Power right 101, power left 107. Really good speed at 93 speed. Shortstop, second base, third base. You can put them, plug them in there. We also have our Drop 7 Season 1 Awards Pack for 30,000 stubs. You will have a chance to get Tariq Skubal, 97 4 c mile per hour fastball, um, K9, 99, hit 9, 105. So he's a solid card. And let's see. Oh, we also get a free captain's card. So we get another free captain's card, which is really, really cool. And yeah, we also have our headliners with Rich Gossage as our player. Four scene, 99 mile per hour fastball, K9, 125, hit 9, 110. So you have a chance to get Rich as well. All right, that is all the content that's in there. It's so much content, so many ways to add to your roster. 99 overall cards everywhere. And remember, this weekend is Double XP Weekend, and you can have a chance to get five show packs. All you have to do is watch your favorite MLB content creator on Twitch. Make sure your, your Twitch is connected to MLB the show and you will earn packs as you watch. I'm going live tonight at eight o'clock Eastern time. So yo, hop by the stream, earn some packs. If you watch my stream, you would get good packs. <laughs> I'll give you the pack luck. But I am Rose Shaka 22. Enjoy your weekend. Grind, grind, grind. I want to see everyone's team at a 99 overall. Catch you guys later. Peace.